Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we're in the super late models here at Knoxville we are car number one ran the third fastest time in practice everybody's pretty tight on times so qualifying is gonna probably mean a good bit even though it's gonna probably slick out some in the race and uh, you'll be able to make some passes in the race for sure but we'll see how this goes it wasn't like a super fresh track it kind of stayed exactly how it is right now for the start but I think it's just gonna be right along the bottom for the most part just try to hook the bottom the best you can both corners might be able to slide up some in one and two and catch that grip potentially we'll see what kind of time we can get they're running sixes we were running faster than that I'm gonna slide up one and two try to catch that grip a little bit I didn't hit it quite right just to see if that would do anything second lap, even though we didn't have the run-in for the lap. Still can get a good time out of it, see what's fast. Second lap was a four. Let's go. That actually worked in one and two then. Nice. I'm actually shocked by that. I did not think it was going to be faster, but I guess sliding up to the grip there in one and two instead of staying on the bottom was a little faster, which uh, worked out perfectly for us, it seems like. And uh, everybody that was in practice has done their laps, it seems like. Jamie had a great lap there. But uh, still have a couple people left to qualify. The 10 car is not here, but the 4 and 3 need to finish their laps. I guess the 3 is on his second lap, I'm assuming. Oh, he just finished it. But uh, we still got the 4 car. He's finishing out his laps, and then we're getting ready to go green here. All right, we're rolling off here. We got the pole. Very happy about that because uh, qualifying is probably going to mean a decent yes, bit with a pretty fresh track. I think it'll get worn out enough. You could probably start throwing some sliders in one and two. But I think that slight slider line will stay pretty quick in the race as well. So need to try to get a good jump and just run that. And then bottom three and four for the time being. And we'll find out what gets quicker there. Maybe moving up a lane or so we will get faster in the race. I'm not sure. Because it's not slicked off like at all in three and four right now. It's really just you can hook the bottom pretty well. But I love Knoxville. The only oh, these only nine, ten people are the only ones that uh, registered to run the race at this time. Right, Might have ran go. it too early like in the day, but I was one trying to get lap. it done, and uh, so I could run some other things one later one on. But either way, we'll we're car one right now. Hopefully, we could try to hold it off and uh, get a win here. That'd be awesome. I love Knoxville one of my favorite tracks on here just because like when it gets super slicked off you still have some really good racing even when it's not that slicked off you get pretty good racing a lot of opportunity to screw up like either just running the bottom and hitting the berm or getting two sideways and all that so we'll see what we can do here though got a great jump there so we could run our own line just right up to the little grip strip Cause I'm wondering if other people are like running slightly higher going in to hit that instead of like cutting off a little bit of the entry. I'm not sure. But we'll see what we can do here. Try to hold them back, get a gap on them. Hopefully we can go caution free for these 40 laps. Cause it's a small field. I missed the bottom three and four there. They're running a little higher behind me in three and four, which is interesting. 499 that's uh that was almost our first lap basically in qualifying running very very fast times right now in the race and we're getting a gap right now too which is great 17.4 490 you ran a little quicker i don't need to push the car too much to where we wear out our tires since we got a good lead right now Try to take it a little easy, not get like full throttle as early and everything. And take it easy on the slider as well. So we're not too sideways going in the corner. But I really want to try to grip the bottom three and four, which I'm missing a little bit there. But I just want to be nice and smooth on the throttle, mainly. If we slow down a little bit, so be it. We don't need to be super fast right now. We were still pulling away from them, it looks like. There we go. That's the bottom three and four. Get your left front just next to that berm. And keeping the car, like, super straight for the most part, too. 
because it makes a big difference on lap time really gripping the bottom in three and four because when you barely miss it like half a car link up like that it definitely feels a little slower and sluggish you have to get it to rotate a little bit more they're throwing sliders behind me for second so that's good for me helped me pull away some i went way too straight into three and four there kind of threw like a small slider there like we do in one and two right now they're definitely pushing that line in one and two up right now because they're running up there like i could see it on entry it's like pushed up higher what am i 1.3 ahead at the moment one four at the line pretty much try to keep track of our gap at the moment and see if we're gaining or losing anything because i don't want to take it too easy to where we start losing time but i'm not driving the best at the moment yeah it might not be like a super high strength of field but this is all the people that registered for it at the moment so i can't really help that i'm definitely going to run this later in the week like over the weekend and stuff oh we're in the wall let's not do that and damage the car i definitely do not want to do that too much I hate getting the wall on the straightaways here. Mainly the back stretch. That's where it really sneaks up more on me. Because I usually come off a two a lot higher than you do off a four. So it's a lot easier to uh, get the wall on the back stretch, in my opinion. Yeah, they're running like much higher in three and four than me, which is funny. Times are definitely falling a little bit. Might be able to run a higher line going into one. It honestly might be a little quicker. But I just need to get into a rhythm in three and four mainly. Because I feel like we're not awful in one and two. It's three and four I've been really screwing up in. Slight wall tap there. Didn't even get a zero X for it though, so we're fine. Oh yeah, we pulled away a lot on that lap. Really hit that thing perfect. And we were like half a tenth quicker. But I know that slider line on one and two is pretty quick. I remember last week when uh, Gavin ran his hosted races, he ran the supers here, and I love this uh, set, like not set, but like combination with the supers at Knoxville. I think the pros might be at Knoxville as well this week, which will be interesting. Don't know if they're gonna be exactly the same, where like that slider line's fast in one and two because they have a little bit less horsepower. But you need to try to keep that car uh, the momentum up on it a lot more than you can and uh, that you need to in this so you can kind of uh, Run some different lines in the supers and still make speed We've got a two-second lead over them right now behind us and they're pretty tight on each other too like those three guys that I can see on the relative Damn that was a nine that was an awful lap But I think I want to say UMPs are at Eldora, but I could be wrong, or they're at somewhere that's fun. I forgot where. They're either here or the pros are here, one or the other. I can't quite remember. But I think the pros might be here, and then I think the UMPs are somewhere pretty good too. I can't, I just cannot remember off the top of my head what the schedule is for this week. But last thing we need right now is a caution because we are absolutely destroying it right now we're doing awesome which we're still pulling away too so a caution would just bring everybody back to me which i don't want like we're, we're still pulling away which off of a restart we still should be able to pull away unless i start screwing up which that that sounds like me i've definitely done that a lot where we have a decent lead then a caution comes out and i lose all my rhythm and stuff and i start screwing it up too much But we're really in a decent rhythm right now, especially in three and four hitting the bottom. Because it seems like they're running higher. I can't even see them in my mirror hardly anymore. They're so tiny. But we're just pulling away with this thing. I'm thinking of doing uh, another super race here this week. Let me know if you guys want this. Uh, I'll run the open. And I'm gonna run I will I will run the DLMT set, which is the dirt late model tour set because it's a pretty good set But uh, I'm gonna I want to run that in the open against other people with their normal open sets like against Gavin and Other guys that are on uh, Setup shops and all that just to see how it 
compares like how how well does it stack up to each other like or stack up to other people who have made sets or that have bought their sets to run and stuff like that so let me know if you want to see that later in the week or not because depending on if anybody says anything about it i i will i will run it if uh there's some interest in it because i definitely am going to lose some i rating that i think sets do matter but that would really show like how much they do because i think i could do okay in the dlmt set i don't know how well it depends on everybody that's in the race for sure but there's always a lot of super fast people and there's the caution we get it with uh coming up to like 15 to go so looks like second and fourth might have wrecked i'm not sure what happened there but uh we just need to get a good jump here like we did in the beginning and uh pull back away from everybody all right coming around to the green it looks like second and fourth got their spots back but they have some front end damage i could see and it looks like the fifth place car number two is in pit road and sixth place is at the back so I think there was like a four car wreck or something like that, I'm assuming. But it looks like second and fourth has some uh, front end damage, which is going to mess up their arrow right, and turning and all that. So hopefully uh, we could still do pretty well. And this guy is like way the hell out in front of me. You want to start the race? Hey, like, I hate when people do that. You want to lick my balls? Present them. Because <laughs> uh, leader has control of this shit, so I hate people that do that on restarts that try to sit out in front of leader to get a jump. Like I don't respect that shit at all. Like if you're dead even with me, completely fine. But if you want to try to be like half a car length out in front of me, uh, I don't I don't respect that shit at all. And we'll go back and see what that incident was uh, for the caution anyways after the race. I'm not sure what happened. Because as far as I know, like the second and fourth place car wrecked and they got their spots back because they were like gone on the relative. And fifth place car was in the pit, sixth place was at the back. So I'm assuming it was like a four car pile up. Not sure. You're getting a report, buddy. another caution. And somebody said they're getting reported. So, not sure what happened there. It looks like the five car fell back to third and then got the six car or something. And not 100% sure, but we're going to be side by side with him for another restart, unfortunately. So, I'll bring you guys back and get ready to take the green. All right, coming around to the green again. The guy on my outside still has front end damage. The guy behind me also has front end damage. He was the fourth guy. And, uh,. We should get a good jump here. I'm going to go literally immediately. Like, I'm going to get close to this pace truck. And I'm going to go, like, as soon as it twitches. So, hopefully we can get him off guard a little bit. Because he wants to try to jump us and stuff. And I don't like that. I don't like when people do that at all. He's staying side by side with us at least this time. So, he's not, like, cheating us uh, forward some. And we got an amazing jump there. Car in front is pitting. Car in front is pitting. I don't know what And immediate caution once again. Lovely. We cannot catch a break at this point. And I think we're still going to be double filed because I don't think it's in the last 10 laps yet. So that is quite unfortunate. You drove into my right rear. All right. Double file for one last time. If we would have gotten literally one more lap in, it would have been single file for the rest of this. So quite unfortunate in that case. But I'm probably going to lay off the pace truck a little farther back than we were last time. And I'm still going to go as soon as it twitches. So we have a little bit of buffer to it. Maybe he thinks I'll, I'm going to wait or something like that. Because that's what I did uh, when I was far back from it before. I waited because he was out in front of us. But it sounds like the four car and the seven got together or something there. I'm not sure. All right, everything should be single file from this point on, so we should get mu a much better jump after this, if anything. All right, we just need to get back into a groove, though, of running our line and just pull back away from these guys because I know I can. Like, we've gapped everybody in this race by, like, two to three seconds easily. 
especially with those guys damaged now. Looks like the nine car is trying to work his way up because those guys are damaged and he probably isn't damaged, which is good on him. Still running this slider line because it's not like slick on the bottom, but it's a little slicked off to where if you run the bottom, it's just not going to be as fast in one and two. Three and four, I can still grip it pretty well down here. So as long as you run it right, it's not that bad. Just be careful on throttle and all that. But if, you know, we could just go green, guys, it'd be great. It's a small field and everybody's having uh, complications back there, it sounds like. But I definitely want to run more of this this week. Not because, like, I'm winning in this one, but it's like this wasn't a great strength of field or anything like that. Like, it wasn't super difficult or anything. I like difficult races. Car behind me is a lap car. It's the two car. He's moving his way on in front of the uh, lead lab guys. That's hilarious. He get, he's actually a second ahead of them. I think the other guys might have gotten together or something. <laughs> That's quite hilarious. So I really don't need to drive hard at all. I have a lap car two seconds back for me. But I definitely want to race this like later on in the weekend, like later at night and stuff where the strength of field is definitely going to be higher at that point. And like I said earlier, let me know if you guys want me to try that open setup lobby, like the open setup race with the DLMT set. Because I, I do want to try that, honestly. Oh, the six cars right behind the two. Or the six cars behind the five, who's second place. That's why I said two. Don't just dump him. I do not want any cautions, please, guys. That's the last thing I want is to do another restart. Even though, like, everybody is pretty much wrecked in this damn race. Like, I'm so far gone from everybody. I just don't want another restart is the main thing. The six got in front of the five, so that's nice. So we don't have to worry about that as of right now, but they're still pretty close to each other, which I don't like. And we're pulling away from the two a little bit. We got him by like a tenth or so since I've seen him behind us. White flag, come on, let me hit the line, please. Lap car up here, please do not wreck in front of me. Please, God. I swear, if this seven car spins out this last corner and takes me out, I'm going to be so sad. I'm just going to be like ultra slow and careful through here, just watching him. Okay, we're good. We're good, and we got the win. We were car one. We are definitely the class of the field. Qualifying was tight because it was a pretty uh, fresh track, but luckily we found that slight slider line, and that worked out for us. And uh, we are able to come home with the win there, so hell yeah. Hey, Keith, how you know what the car you wrecked past you? <laughs> Yikes. At least you passed me clean, pussy. Jesus, this is such a mess for everybody in this race. I'm going to do a couple burnouts, try to put it in victory lane over here, because I like do I like trying to get into that victory lane right there on the front stretch. A win's a win. It doesn't matter what the strength of field is. You can only go against whoever registers, but it's not like I was trying to cherry pick this or anything, because I, I register pretty quick in a session once it like starts up and i'm just like committed to it at that point but you have to barely squeeze your car through that get it on the front stretch and turn it around for victory lane right there love that i don't think we have much damage at all in our car the five still going at it with the six but let's go back to the beginning see everything that happened in this race because uh it seems like there is some feistiness behind us so we'll go back and see everything that happened four car blinking there Seven car into the wall on the front stretch. Just got up a little too wide. Two car with the six trying to throw a slider. The six car did not want him in front of him. He about uh, dumped him there. I don't think that's the actual six. I think the other six who hang on. I'm confused because like the six that's talking is this six car. The black six car. The white six car is actually the three car. So. We'll see what else happens. This is lap 19, so we went pretty far into the race. And he's in the wall a little bit. Goes down into one and two. That's some net code between them for sure. A little bit. And it seems like he's trying to come down. He's kind of coming up slightly. Like, both guys are going for the same part of the track. Like, just running slightly different lines. Like, that's a racing deal to me. Is right, right here. Like... He's sliding up slightly. He's sliding down slightly. But that was definitely some net code between them because they definitely had some room. Because by the time they hit, they hit right there, which they... I don't even know if they would have hit, but it definitely affected his car a lot more than it should have, in my opinion. 
He throws a slider there, and then that dude just ran into him. And that's the caution, I think. Yeah, that's definitely the caution. I don't know how second and fourth got their spots back, but I definitely blame that caution on the five car here because he threw a slider straight up the track, and he just didn't change his line and kind of just went straight on into him. Yeah, the six was a little sideways there, but you have a ton of momentum and the angle you're going, you're going to run straight into him. You need to cut down and get the, what they call a cut down on somebody when you're trying to pass them back. It's unfortunate for all the guys behind that ended up in that because that was all on them up front. And eight car about lost it there. Two car definitely had a bunch of damage there. And that this is where that guy's trying to get the restart on me. So everybody was accordion up on the bottom lane. Luckily, we still got a good jump on him anyways, but there was a very quick caution after that. Like, sorry for the accordion on the bottom, but if the guy didn't want to be an asshole on the top, then it wouldn't have happened. Eight car got to the side of the 10, just kept his foot in it, though. Oh, this is just that guy just running him over. He That was, that was clean onto the front stretch. Like, he got by him clean, didn't touch him at all, and this dude just doesn't lift or try to move. He literally just runs straight in the back of him and spins his ass out. That's 100% on the five car. So both wrecks, I blame on the five at least right there. Six car could have held his brake some, but it wouldn't have really done a whole lot. Seven car is just unfortunate uh, there altogether. Oh, and then the four just hooked him on the front stretch. They were uh, coming off. This is literally the green flag and he's on the bottom lane and he kind of comes down into his lane there just like kept his car straight and came down into the bottom guy's lane and just hooked him up into the wall so i blame that on the four car because uh he did he like just kept his car straight but didn't stay in his line per se so that uh, it's a racing deal yes but if there is to put the blame on somebody i'd put it on the four there seven car Gonna hit the wall? No, I think maybe something's dragging on his car because his car is pretty damaged. I think so many cars were really damaged in this race, which is hilarious. And uh, the nine car ended up finishing third. I don't know if he had any damage on his car. Uh, he had a zero X. So yeah, me and him had a zero X. The guy that didn't race had a zero X. Everybody else ended up in something. And uh, he ended up third with a not damaged car. Shockingly, uh, that five car ended up second with a damaged car, like pretty damaged. And these guys are just, you could hear it, just full throttle. And that's not going to be any sort of fast. You're just killing your tires. Speaking of tires, my right rear is 55 after that. So I definitely was wearing out. Oh my God. Look at the back left wheel of this thing. How is this thing driving? This is hilarious. His, his axle back here is fucked. And in, in the corner, his wheel is so diagonal. That is hilarious. <laughs> That's honestly impressive that he's still driving it out here, honestly. So I commend that. That was pretty damn cool. With, with that damaged of a car, and he actually still passed the uh, five car, and then that's just the six car trying to get people, like both of them 2X, which is dumb. And then they're just wrecking each other after the race. So honestly, uh, that wasn't smart. That's not smart by either of them. And then here comes a straight line. They're probably both going to protest each other and then hopefully both get a uh, a week off or something. So maybe they'll learn their damn lesson. But hey, we win the race. We put it in victory lane up here with a not damaged car at all. Even getting into that wall on the back stretch, our car looks just fine, which is nice. Some grass in the front, some dirt on the front, but it's all good. We put it in victory lane, baby. Let's go. And uh, let's see what we end up getting out of the results here. All right, results to end. Strength of field is only 2,100, not very high strength of field with it being a single car or a single split, sorry. And uh, we gained 36 out of it. We were car number one. We should have won that. We were far out from everybody else. Ran a 490 in the race. That was pretty early on. Lap three, yeah. Lap two and lap three ran like a 499 and a 490 back to back, I remember. But after that, I started backing off because I saw how much of a lead we already had and uh, we didn't need to burn up the tires more than uh, we already were going to pretty much because we was down the 55 at the end. But yeah, a whole mess of a race. Should have probably went caution free, but a couple people just wanted to race each other way too hard and uh, do dumb things. But it is what it is. Nine car had a good uh, 
rebound from uh, where he started. He qual he qualified ninth, got up to third, so good run on Hunter there. Kept it clean, too. He was the only other car out here besides the 10, but obviously he didn't race. Uh, the 9 car is the only other one that kept it clean with a 0x, so I commend that. He was a lower I rating for sure, car 9 out of 10, and uh, gained a whole bunch of it uh, finishing third, so good on him. Very, very proud of him, but that was a mess of a race. I'm happy that we didn't have to deal with any of that because that was awful back there. I'm very happy we qualified first and uh, didn't have to do anything stupid, and we just gapped everybody so hopefully you guys enjoyed the race appreciate you guys for watching and like i said earlier let me know if you want me to do that open uh setup race with the fixed dlmt set because i'm actually interested in it and uh i think that it's not going to go well but maybe we'll lose less than 36 on what we gained here so that will kind of equal each other out but i'll probably run more of this anyways this week and try to gain some more i rating anyways but uh like i said like i said appreciate you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one